You sure you don't want to lay it right here now that he's made room? Mm-hmm. Make it uncomfortable. I'm gonna miss you. on the road and everything's in the back seat and it miraculously all fit even once we added our pillows and blankets and other stuff that we didn't try to fit in the first time when we were testing the storage space. So now we have a thousand miles ahead of us. It's going to take just over 16 hours and, and I'm really cold right now. It says it's 46. It is not 46. 46. It feels very crisp outside which I absolutely love. And so yeah, we're starting our road trip. We're going to be going to New York first. We're making a mini road trip out of it. So we're going to be going to New York tonight for our first night and then Pennsylvania and then Indiana and then we arrive in Chicago. So this is the, this is the very beginning of a lot more to come. We just took a little rest stop and we're exploring and we found this little creek down here. It looks like it's out of a fairy tale. smallest church on a green pond as my mom so aptly put it what is it in the middle of sludge pond <laughs> what is that algae it's disgusting can we throw something in it ready uh-huh <laughs> available for special occasions what could you do with the church for two here's our hotel room in new york and it smells like lemons in here because everything is sprayed down to combat any threat of potential COVID. So now we are going to be here until tomorrow morning and then we'll depart for Pennsylvania. It's 7 a.m. and we are leaving. It's freezing out. I left my coat in the car and I'm wearing short sleeves and a skirt. It's 36 degrees. <laughs> So we're now going to be on our way to Pennsylvania. Okay, um, we are wandering around looking for a flame that's supposed to be naturally lit behind a waterfall because of like gas and there's no maps whatsoever out here. So we're in the forest <laughs> searching for flamed waterfall. Not much water because of the drought. But there it is. Now for lunch, we're going to this beach that is on Lake Erie, and it literally looks like the ocean, so I feel like we could be back in Maine and we're going to make a little picnic lunch. Turn left, then turn left. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> We 
are here for night two. <laughs> we just arrived in our hotel room and this is our room. It's so wide and beautiful and clean, but there's absolutely no view out here. We were hoping to get a view of Lake Erie, but unfortunately it's just the parking lot. Day three, we are in Ohio and we found a castle. So we are now going to this castle and it looks very medieval. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Yeah. Whoa. We're going through Ohio and we cannot believe how expansive the agriculture is. It just keeps going and going with no end in sight. And it's been really pretty with the different farms. Ah, what is this thing? <laughs> is it not working? Okay, my mom's ironing. We're about to leave for Chicago from Indiana. This is our last hotel stop and we're about to hit the road. We stopped for lunch at this little restaurant in Indiana and they made the cutest summer spinach salad. It has strawberries, feta cheese, fresh bread, an egg. Candy pecans. It's amazing. <laughs> We're on campus. We are outside of the dorms and now Yay! we're gonna go pick up my books from the bookstore. The ones that we ordered a while ago. Cannot get over how beautiful the campus is. <laughs> Look at this. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. There's this little hallway thing and it looks exactly like Hogwarts and I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. We had a mishap with the door. We <laughs> like, the lock was broken. What a drama. And we only have three hours to move in because of COVID. But we're in here. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna. Sh okay, so I have two beds because it's supposed to be a double, but it's a single because of COVID. That means also I have two closets, two desks. There's a bunny right there. No, he's not even afraid of us. Oh my gosh. Okay, we've now brought everything in here. So it's all just sitting on the floor. And then, yeah? Okay. And then we're gonna make dinner and then we're gonna unpack. Time is ticking. Okay, now. We're going to start hanging stuff up, probably, right? Are yeah. we hanging up right now? Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, I already am trying to say goodbye. <laughs> okay. So, I'll unwrap these. And then here is the second bed. So we are going to turn it into a couch. Okay, so here's the my bedroom entrance. And then this is room B, so I'm in A. And then there's also bathrooms with a full length mirror. 
and then a shower in here. There's no toilet though. And then in here is the toilet bathroom with another sink and mirror. Of course, I'm so excited to be here. I mean, this is like my dream school that I've worked towards. And this is really everything I could ever hope for. But there is this very small part of me, or not very small right now, to be honest, that just really wants to go home. I also just want to add, it's just so hard saying goodbye, not knowing when I'm going to see my family again, because I don't know if we're going to get closed down because of COVID, and I don't know when I'm, I just don't know when I'm going back, if I'm going after Thanksgiving or not. So it's saying goodbye for an indefinite period of time. I'm just hoping that this becomes home because right now it just feels very alone, I guess, but I'm gonna get into my pajamas and try to feel better because it's freezing in here. I showed the final result of my room, but here it is. I have the couch and books, Acadia National Park poster, a little main picture, flowers. It's still very messy because I have a lot to put away still, but here is like a bunch of recipe pictures that I have up. They're absolutely adorable. And then my bed, and I brought my stuffed animals in new bedding, and yeah, so I'm pretty happy with how it looks. All right, I am doing a bit better now. I've showered and brushed my teeth and gotten ready for bed. Now I'm just going to watch The Incredibles because that's my favorite movie growing up and I'm hoping that it helps me settle in a little bit. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a fantastic week and that you're having a great day.